Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I'm doing another Neville Nugget for you and it's from The Law and the Promise. This is a good one. Okay, the eye of imagination, if not deflected, looks on what ought to be there, not what is. However familiar the scene on which sight rests, the eye of imagination could gaze on one never before witnessed. It is this eye of imagination and only this that can be free that can free us from the sense of fixation of outer things, which completely dominates our ordinary existence and keeps us looking on the reflective glass of facts. Okay, so what he's talking about there is we are so used to looking at what is in front of us in 3D. Now, if that's a good thing, and you're enjoying it, no problem. But if it's something that's bothering you, then it needs to change. As in, you need to withdraw your attention from that scene, what's going on, your lack of money, your debt, your job you don't like, your relationship issues, your overweight issues, your sickness issues, and you need to pull your mental attention and focus away from that and put it on to what you would like to see okay now it is possible to pass from thinking of to thinking from so i'm going to explain the of and from thing a little bit because i know it confuses some of you you're thinking of something i'm here and i'm thinking of my debt i'm here and i'm thinking of my relationship problem i'm here and i'm thinking of my specific person i'm here and i'm thinking about how I hate my job. Okay, so that's thinking of. So then you need to go from thinking of to thinking from. But the crucial matter is thinking from, experiencing the state. For this experience means unification. So you unify, you become one with the state when you're thinking from, okay? Whereas in thinking of, there is always a subject and object, like I just explained, the thinking individual and the thing thought of, okay? I'm here, it's there. I'm here, it's there, okay? When you think from, you're in the state of, there's only here. I'm here with the debt-free bank account. I'm here with the amazing feeling of a healthy body. I'm here thinking of how fantastic my relationship is. And this is the best relationship I've ever had. To get that, you must be that. That's what the new state is. Okay, that's what he's talking about. So, continuing on. Oh, self-abandonment. That is the secret. We have to abandon ourselves to the state in our love for the state and in so doing live the life of the state and no more in our present state. So you cannot be in the state of unloveness and attract a relationship or a specific person or an ex. You must be in the state of feeling loved and wanted and at peace and connected and this is the best relationship I've ever had feeling you have to be it okay you cannot get it and then you be it you have to be it and then you receive it okay so let me read that again self-abandonment this is the secret we have to abandon ourselves to the state in our love for the state and in so doing live the life of the state and no more our present state which is the state of unloveness, the state of having no money and anxious about money, okay? So, imagination seizes upon the life of the state and gives itself the expression of the life of the state. So, imagination, basically, it, it encompasses and becomes... As you imagine, let me break this down more simply, as you imagine feeling loved, then your body then takes on the feeling of being loved and being at peace and having a great relationship. Then you become the person that is, is that because there's only you. Okay, what does that mean? There's only you. 
you are in states of being and those states of being are photocopied on the outside. So if you feel poor, then you will have no money. If you feel sick, then you won't have health. If you feel unloved, then you won't get any love and you won't get a good relationship. Okay? So faith plus love is self-commission. We can't commit ourselves to what we do not love. Never would you have made anything if you had not loved it. And to make the state alive, one must become it. So you must become that which you desire to receive. Okay? So, thank you, Neville. Thank you, thank you. Now, I have a little request. Island Goddess, you... I won't say where I saw you, but can you contact me with what happened the other day? I've got something nice for you and your son. Can you please contact me? My email address is in the description of every single YouTube and I would love to connect with you. I have a little surprise for you. So lots of love and I will see you in the next YouTube. Oh, I'll put the Neville Nuggets series down below.